This is Kara from Creations by Kara. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to be making some super yummy keto coconut nut clusters. And guys, you are going to love these. They are, they are rich and creamy and chocolatey. And then they have the crunch from the coconut and the nuts. And I just love them. I love them more than any of the treats that I could find at the store. So I make them up all the time. They last really well in the fridge and they are so good that I have to hide them from my family. And so you know they're gonna be tasty. And they're also really easy to make. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, to start off, you wanna turn your unit down to medium or medium low heat going to add some coconut oil almond butter you can use peanut butter if you like but I find that the almond butter has a more mild flavor so you can taste the coconut and nuts and then some chopped up unsweetened chocolate you can just put the whole chunk of chocolate in, but it melts a lot faster if you've got it chopped into little pieces, so I recommend doing that. And then you're just gonna cook and stir until it's nice and melted. Okay, as you can see, it's all nice and liquidy. Next, we're gonna add in some cocoa powder. I just used regular Hershey's cocoa powder a little bit of vanilla extract, and some swerve, swerve sweetener. I get the best results with that. If you have another brand that you like, you can give it a try, but this one is my favorite for this recipe. You just keep stirring until it gets smooth again. I'm gonna pull out my whisk, makes it go a little faster. You want your heat to be down low for this part. Okay, that's nice and smooth. Time to add our last two ingredients. Some chopped nuts. I'm using both pecans and almonds. And for best flavor, you wanna toast them first. And also some unsweetened coconut, which I have also toasted. And you're just gonna stir that together and turn off the heat. And that's it. Now we're ready to form them. Okay, we've got our mixture all cooked and combined and we're ready to form it. So I will show you how we're gonna make these little candies. It's super easy. Okay, you're just gonna take one of these cookie scoops, mine is a tablespoon, and you're just gonna scoop them out. I like to use a silicone pan liner. You can also use parchment paper. I just really like the silicone pan liners because nothing sticks to them. And then you're just gonna, you're gonna make about 12 of these. There we go. The hardest part, hardest part of this recipe is just waiting for them to cool. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, these candies are all set up. I popped them into the refrigerator for, it takes about 25 to 30 minutes. As you can see, they're in a cookie sheet now. They weren't before. Be smart and put your liner in your pan before you scoop the candies. That'll make it a lot easier for you. Um, I'll just take one of these off and give it a try. They start to melt as soon as you take them out of the refrigerator and they are just so luscious. Mm. Rich and chocolatey. They will totally satisfy any chocolate craving you have. They are amazing. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave me a comment and I will link the supplies that I use below and you can also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.